Mary Elmo is live at Vikings headquarters where everybody from the team at the front office will be smiling today, Al. Jason, they certainly will. Returning to the office on a Monday is a lot easier after a win, especially one as rewarding as the home opener. It was not only our first win of the season, but it was the first game in two years with fans in the stadium. And the energy started off early with tailgating outside U.S. Bank. You, of course, had people doing barbecues, pick up lawn games, and there was a kickoff concert. This enthusiasm carried itself into the stadium with the Sea of Purple bringing the volume with the school chain for the first time and nonstop energy throughout all four quarters. The players and coaching staff felt it and credit the fans with their win. It was great. The, uh, it seemed like the fans have been pent up for a year, so I'm glad that they uh, came out today. It was nice to have a late afternoon game where they can uh, hit some of the local establishments before the game, and, uh, but uh, they, were, they were outstanding. Crazy. It was crazy. It was so energetic. I was waiting for that moment for a, a long time now. So uh, to finally score a touchdown in front of the fans and hit the gritty, uh, it was great. That was wide receiver Justin Jefferson, who experienced his first Vikings fan experience because he was a rookie last season, so he's never played in front of Vikings fans at U.S. Bank. So an incredible experience for him, an incredible experience for all the fans in person and on TV even. Just watching it from home, it was exciting. And, of course, the Vikings can't get too comfortable with this win because we want to turn this into a streak. We have another home game on Sunday against the Cleveland Browns. Sure beats starting the season 0-3, that is for sure. Sure, doesn't it, Marielle? One hundred percent. It feels good to be on the board. We're yes. keeping up with the rest of them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Marielle Bo is live in Egan this morning. Thanks, Al.